So lately we've been talking about entry level jobs, you know, what it takes to land an entry level job, the things that you have to deal with like HR and, you know, silly job requirements and things like that. Overall, the process can be very intimidating and people get discouraged by this and people have gotten discouraged by these videos that I've put out. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel and if anybody has ever told you that this was going to be an easy process, well, they flat out lied to you because just like any other major career, it can be a process. It can be difficult. And of course, some people have it a lot easier than we do at times, but it can happen. It can happen for you. And the story that I'm going to tell you guys today is something that it's frustrating. It's frustrating to see but there was light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm gonna tell you guys about my friend Paul, who I met down in Las Vegas at Black Hat, who we've kept in touch, and he saw one of the videos that I did recently where I was talking about these ludicrous entry-level requirements for getting into IT jobs. And he sent me a screenshot of a spreadsheet that he had kept from the time he started applying to jobs. So every single job that he applied for, he would write down, who that person was or who that company was. Did he get an interview? Yes or no. Did he hear back? Yes or no. And he kept track of this. Keep in mind, he kept track of this for a long time because as you guys can see, it's over 4,000 entries in this spreadsheet. He applied to over 4,000 jobs before he was able to land his first role. Now, what does that tell you? Well, it tells you a lot of different things, right? It tells you that there are a lot of jobs out there, clearly 4,000 jobs. And I'm guessing his area alone, uh, he could have reached out a little bit further, but 4,000 jobs that he applied to. So those are 4,000 plus jobs that got filled, not by him filling that position, but other people. So that's good to see, right? Now, it's not good for him because that's frustrating. Like that's frustrating to apply to that many jobs and you know go for interviews, not land the position or not even get a call back. But he was persistent, he was dedicated and he kept pushing and that's what it takes. And I've seen people leave comments saying I've applied for hundreds of jobs. Well, unfortunately a hundred jobs or hundreds of jobs at this point, it's nothing. Because after seeing this, um, the whole game changes right? That is a lot of jobs to be applying for. And that tells you there's a lot of competition out there. And it just goes to show that there are plenty of jobs in the IT field. So what I can tell you and what Paul can tell you is to keep going forward, to keep your persistence. And that means apply for as many jobs, all of the jobs that it takes until you land your first position. Now, Paul was going to school. He was getting a degree in cybersecurity. He's participated in numerous capture the flag tournaments, and he's a very smart guy. He has certifications. You know, he's got the degree by all accounts. Like he is more than qualified to land any type of entry level position. But again, a lot of competition out there. Now I feel bad for Paul that he had to go through all of those 4,000 plus jobs but I'm very happy for him. I'm very proud of him for actually achieving his first job because that's amazing, right? And you guys can do it too. Now, it's not gonna take 4,000 plus jobs for all of you out there. I think this is probably gonna happen, you know, here and there, but you will probably maybe apply to hundreds of jobs. Maybe you get super lucky and you apply for like five jobs and you land one of them. And that's okay too, right? Like it, it's, it's such a crapshoot at times that we, we don't know. We never know like exactly what's going to happen, but what we're doing here at IT Career Questions is helping prepare you and giving you this information, sharing these stories so that you know what to expect, you know what to look out for, and you just overall know how to be prepared to land that first job because it can be difficult, but I want you guys to know that it's doable. You can do it. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. And if anybody tells you differently from that, they're lying about that too, because you can do it. So what I want you guys to take from this is a lesson from Paul. And the lesson is don't give up, never give up because it can take time and you can do it. And there are plenty, plenty of jobs out there for all of us. So 
continue down the path that you're looking to go. Don't give up the good fight because you can do this. And if you guys have any other questions or you guys want to hear from Paul, I'm trying to get him scheduled for an interview or we're going to come on a live show and he's going to answer questions about, you know, the process that he went through. Just tell his story. But uh, stay tuned for that, first of all. But don't give up, guys. Don't give up. Please don't give up. And, uh, yeah, you got anything else? Throw them in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys. As always, take it easy.